G'day and welcome back to our Breton Common Sense campaign where we're going to try to turn the tide. So at the moment, <clears throat> we've just been declared on by Provence. We outnumber them slightly at the moment, but let's see what's about to happen. Portugal came in on our side. Austria and France came in on theirs. Looks like England did not. We're still waiting to call them in. Hmm. Well, we're about to lose our fleet. Glorious Navy is under attack by three heavies. And there they go. Alright, so I was having a quick look at what exactly they would want. So if we clear the offers, the suggested offer is seeding this, this, and this. So everything except more behind and ending the overlordship of Munster. Well, we don't want to end the overlordship of Munster. Where's... So forget about that. But we would be happy to give you more behind if you're going to take the rest of it. They would accept. We want to keep our money. And we lose a little power projection. Don't have enough to do anything with anyway. So we'll just send them that. <coughs> Yes, now the Bretons have forced us to submit the Breton peasants. Provence is no longer a valid rival, nor are they, nor are they. I assume we didn't eclipse them. We have no power projection link. Scottish liberty desire is high, but we want to release one of our colonial subjects. And if we're going to do this, we might as well send them the gift first. You know, make it a bit easier for them. Actually, we'll wait for... No, we won't wait for it. It's fine. All right, send a gift. I'm not going to take out massive loans and all the rest of it. 900 to do. Send that. Release them. Play as the release subject. <laughs> Stability drop. Oh no. Oh, Jesus, Lafayette. <laughs> what's, what's that show called? Yeah. Ah, oh, bloody hell. I'm going to remember it every time I say his name, except this time. Alright, we will rival Brittany. Now, we have no army, of course. Brittany has a decent one. Don't know, where's the other part of their army? Through there where I can't see. Alright, national decisions. We will... Mm, yeah, sure, why not? We have bugger all points, but we're going to be making them. We will focus... Uh, Edge time on military is nice. Dudocratic is military. We are... up to there. Focus on that, I guess. Next idea groups, not for a long time. focus for now. Wouldn't mind becoming Protestant. And we didn't spend our stuff on anything. Alright, our mission will be to create an army. Absolutely. Get eight. So, let's do it as a template. We'll grab one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seems really bad. Seems like a better idea. Simple as. Alright, we'll build that. Somewhere. Up to the border, I guess. Alright, Defender of the Faith is a no. We lack the cause. Of course, they didn't get to finish it. We keep the progress, though, that's good. So, actually, you know what? Let's focus on admin. We have no inflation. We have positive income. But not for long. So, actually, who hates Brittany? Because they're our rival. Uh, 
England. Natural allies. Distance between the borders. Fair enough. It's never going to be able to do it. Scotland. Loyal now. I don't think they are, but sure. Oh, and the capital did go to Connecticut. Thought it went to the first one we settled. Apparently not. And we start with a looming disaster. Jesus. Yeah, nothing we can do about that anyway. Jeez. That's going to be painful. Make them a bit angrier then, eh? Political crisis. Who needs legitimacy? Alright, so we're on the way to the achievement at least. Yep, he's finally arrived there. I don't think they'll want to hand this over to their new rival when they finish them, but that's fine. Just got to take it pretty quickly in the war. Speaking of which, his army's just disappeared. They probably can't afford it. And actually... Where's his capital gone now? Puerto Rico. Okay. Well... Let's wait until that becomes a real province. Alright. First mission complete. Conquer by... That's actually what I was about to do. Okay. Conquer that. Yes. Just gives us the claim that I was about to spend a year fabricating. So, if we declare war on Brittany, we're allied with Portugal and Castile. Forgot about that. Huh. This will go very badly, so let's give it a go. Right, head over there. Portuguese Brazil. Have. All right, we have the war goal. Hey, for us. All right. So we are not doing any colonizing. Unsure if we have to pay for this. Their guys should still be there. Yep. Right, got that, got that. We are not paying for it. And his guy is still there. succeeds to the throne. Oh, I want to keep the 544 though. Oh, we got military points, so... Mm, okay. Gillies. One three to his... Two two.
Do, 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 do. He takes a minus three. Definitely needs to reinforce. Probably not the man up. This war is going to go badly. Hmm. Hey, Spain. Do you want to pace out for that? I'll give it to you. Jesus. Ah, Spain. Castile. Yeah. I don't suggest anything because you don't want anything. I don't care about this war. Alright. <clears throat> don't quite have the manpower. We do now. Keep doing conversions. Cores are coming in. That morale. Alright, what we need to do is build these bloody mercenaries. More than we got. Disgusting. No, 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 no. Damn it. Can't let them land. Stupid Iberians. Would have had this. Force each other so we're gonna get screwed. Valakia is free from Hungary. And Hungary's bankrupt. They wanna come up. Saxony is ruled by the king of Poland. Okay. It's a little weird. Alright, lost the war goal. About to lose our capital. So we can do 
we've got a 1 3. He's got 2 2. They're going to reinforce. This is going to hurt. everything we've got anyway, so oh, keep it cheap. No, it's before his reinforcements got there. Bloody hell. Alright, there goes a the capital. And more fucking hell. Like they've got nothing to do in Europe, they will just decide to come over here and help their freaking one province miner dude. Ugh. I didn't want to make it too easy, but I wasn't expecting freaking Portugal and Castilla would both come and kick my ass. Hopefully he'll just attrition himself to death. Jesus. Let's just take out a whole bunch of lines. Alright. And he's still reinforcing. How many goddamn men? He's got his whole army over here now. And now we get a peasant's war. Yay for us. Getting an ass kicking everywhere we go. And crippling debt, and just no chance in hell of winning. So, what do you want? Connecticut, Point Verde, Quinnipiac, give money, blah blah blah, whatever, fine. In the meantime, mercenaries, go to buy. And we are still losing money somehow. So we're at 9 and 6. Hmm. Alright, so that's inaccurate. That is not what we are paying in war reps, thank you. With an income of 2, we're not paying 13. Just keep taking loans then. Alright. Don't particularly need an army. Not making much of a difference though. The interest is going to cripple us. Oh, that one war, and you go from kicking ass to just losing. 
Reached maximum number of allowed loans. Bankruptcy is looming. We expect to go bankrupt next year. Which sounds fine. So what we would want to do in the meantime is spend all the monarch points that we're going to lose when we go bankrupt. Oh, bloody Castile and Portugal. Alright, I have to hope we can kill them before we go bankrupt, basically. Take a look at development. Uh, money is going to be the biggest issue. Production wherever. Legitimacy. Get our ass kicked by Mick Mac. Mm. We'll lose money. We are bankrupt, which means there's no real point in having an army at all. But let's go stand in the capital. Alright, well, perfect. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be so easy. And just completely screwed. All the separatists are going to pop out. Alright, well, I'm going to take a short break here. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.